So now that the line bore bar is or the, the line bore is done on this case, um, we have our milling jig in one half. We'll bolt the other half on it in a minute. Get it up on the mill. Um, we like to hold the case this way so that we know when we're boring the cylinders, we are boring them perpendicular to the crank um, because the case parting line is not parallel to the to the crank center line on these things, and so by holding it using the main bearings we know that uh, the crank center line or the, yeah the crank center line is parallel to the milling table most people don't do that all right so we got Brad's save uh, Brad's case up on the milling table we are about to cut the case for 90.5s we're actually going to use a set of thick wall 92s but we opted for the uh, 90.5 92 uh, size in the case with the 94 in the heads so um, Got everything bolted down to the table nice and tight. Uh, now we're about to flip the milling machine on and go for it. So we like to do a two-step cut here. Um, we've already done the the uh, lower half of the bore, so now we're going to do the upper half of the bore. So So now we're about to deck the cylinder bore on these guys.